Right, so here is a question there. So uh, I really like this question because it's, it's like the complexity of the binomial expansion. Like usually it's an easy to go to catching point there. But yeah, this is really cool. Oh, so let's do this together. So we have the first term, power 7 and power x, uh, no, power 1, with the two terms there. So first two bed is pretty easy to catch, so it's easy. So first term, no, no matter which side you're counting from, we can always look at this. So we have the 8a7. Oh, no, we cannot write this because that will be working backwards. So let's do this. Oh, so we have the extra power 7 here, so which means that the B, uh, A, sorry, not B, the A, A, X have to be 7, and B is 1. So with that, we have our 8, 1. Either way, 7 or 1 doesn't matter, it's still 7. So I know it's 8 because the Pascal triangle comes with like 1, 1, 2, 1, the second one, 0, 1, the first and C, 1 should always the the same number as n but just in case so we go to option probability and c r oh sorry eight c one that give us eight so no brainer a x to the power seven x to the power seven b the only issue is some of the student forgot to share the x the power seven to both sides so that make it wrong unfortunately so next bit we're going to find the other one so we will have The other one, so we say a x to be one, so b should be seven, and then eight seven. All right. I know, I know it's eight anyway, so we still have to try it just in case. So eight c seven, they give us eight as well. So eight x b seven. So we got two time two terms there, already five points in our pocket. So now here with the information we given, we need to find a n a and b. Now, this is a latest classic there. So we have. Power 7, the top one, so we have negative 5, 1, 2, 0, x to the power 7 equals to 8, a, 7, x, 7, b. So we simulate that and divide 5, 1, 2, negative 5, 1, 2, 0, divided by 8. That gives us negative 6, 40 equals to a, 7, b. All right, so this is our first one. And the other one, we could have negative 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, x equals to 8, x, b, 7. So again, we cancel the x and divide it by her. So negative 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, divided by 8. That should be negative 1, 5, 6, 2, 5, 0 equals to a, b, 7. All right, so here we go. We got that. And we can do all the math there, but then what I'll do is divide both there because they should have the same R there. So let's see. So I have A7, B7, uh, B, sorry. I leave the numerator as the, and negative 6, 4, 0 over A, B7 over negative 1, 5, 6, 2, 5, 0. All right, so we cancel that out. So this will be 6, and this will be 6. And then we have negative 6, 4, 0 over negative 1, 5, 5, 2, 5, 0. I, yeah, yes, there we go. So now we have A6, B6 equals to 64. Cancel the 0 already. Over 1, 5, 6, 2, 5, 0. All right, if I use the index law here, a over b, the power 6 will be equal to 64 over 1, 5, 6, 2, 5, 0, which means that if I 6 root it, I get 2 over 5. Remember, it's even index, so it's plus or minus. Uh, that is the painful bit. So we have plus or minus 2 for a, and b is plus or minus Five for B. However, we need to test it out what it's going to be. So we're going to have no, actually we can't do this. Uh, yeah. So now we have A over B equals to 2 over 5 plus or minus. 
So which means that A would be equals to plus or minus 2 over 5 B. Am I right? Yes. So we need to test out both situations. So for A equals to this bit, let's use this one, the nicer one. So 640 equals to positive A equals to 2, 5, positive 2, 5, B, power 7, B. No, that's a bit painful. Now, never mind. So we now, we will have Two and seven, and then mm, maybe I changed my mind. Let's do the B that. Sorry. Aye. Oh, let's do the B there. So A and five over two would be equals to B, plus or minus. Yeah, that would feel better. So now I substitute it back to the same equation. <coughs> So I will have say negative 640 equals to a to the power 7 times, say for the positive one. So we will have 5 over 2a. So that give us a to the power 8, negative 640 times 2 to the power 5a to the power 8. This won't happen because we will not have a negative answer there. So, and it's not finished yet. We need to try the negative as well. So we got another piece of paper. Oh, I just need a lot of paper. So we will have negative six forty times negative two over five. Let's stop skip that. Equals to a to the power seven times negative five over two a. All right, so this case, we will have a to the power 8 and then divide by negative 640 times 2 over negative 5. That gives us a positive number, which is a nice thing. So our calculator, 640 times 2 over 5. I skipped the negative because it's become positive. So we come 2, 5, 6 equals to a to the power 8. a now become plus or minus 2. Oh, huh, what a pain. So... Now we will have B because this the other one, where is it? The other one will not have a solution. We will have this one as a solution. So A will be um B will be equal to negative five over two A. So we need to find B back. So when A equals to two, B will be negative five over two times two equals to negative five. When A equals to negative two B equals to negative 5 over 2 times 2, positive. So they give us at the, they give us cancelled out, so they give us 5. So we got two sets of answer there. Whoa, what a pain. So these is a bit bright there. All right, so that is the two answer we have there. And finally, we get that right. That's why I like this question. All right, until next time, uh, coming up will be some past paper of IB, so stay tuned. Oh, that's my cheat sheet.